Now that the program has been installed, you should see the GNU Cache icon on your desktop, which the program created when you installed the program, as long as you left that option checked. If you don't see the shortcut on your desktop, look for the program in your Windows Start menu. To open GNU Cache, click on the GNU Cache shortcut icon on your desktop. Each time you start GNU Cache, the tip of the day appears. For now, simply click on the Close tab to close it out. In GNU Cache, you can either use the default business accounts or you can set up your business accounts manually. For simplicity, we will use the GNU Cache pre-built business accounts. To begin, click on the File menu and when the File menu opens, select New File. The new account hierarchy setup wizard opens. This screen gives you a general overview of the setup wizard. Click on the next button to move to the next screen. The new book options screen opens. The options available here can be configured at any time. Click on next to move to the next screen. The choose currency window opens. By default, US dollars is selected. If US currency is your desired currency, select next to continue. If US currency is not your desired currency, click on the drop down arrow and when the menu opens, select your currency from the list of options. Then click next to continue. On the choose accounts to create screen, you are presented with various accounts by default. Common accounts is selected. You can see on the right hand side the type of accounts that are included in the common accounts. But since we want to set up accounts for a business, common accounts will not do. You want to deselect the common accounts and to do this, click on the check mark next to the common accounts. Clicking on the check mark will remove the check mark from the check box. Next, Run your mouse pointer along the bottom corner of the dialog box. And I want you to move that pointer until you see the scroll bar appear. Then hold down the left side of your mouse while you scroll up and down until you find the business accounts. Then click on the box next to the business accounts to select it. A check mark should appear indicating this is the active account you are selecting. Now, if you look on the right hand side, you can see the pre built business accounts GNU Cash designed specifically for a small business. Click on the Finish button to move to the next screen. Here on the Finish Account Setup screen, at any given point in the setup, you are given the options to go back by selecting the back key or to cancel if for some reason you needed to. If you followed the instructions so far and you are satisfied that everything was done correctly, then the only thing left to do is click on apply to finish up this part of the setup. In this next step of the business account setup, you will name your accounting file and create a folder to hold the files. This step is crucial because GNU Cache generates a lot of files and if this step is not done properly, those files will end up outside of the folder and all mixed up with your files in your document folder. When done right, your files will be saved and organized into the folder specifically created to hold your GNU Cache files. Let's begin. Make sure your document folder on the left hand side is highlighted by clicking on it, indicating this is the active folder where your files and folder will be saved. Enter a name for your accounting file in the name field text box above. I will enter Jan Shop Online. Next, click on the file icon located on the right hand side to create a folder to hold your GNU Cache files. Enter a name for your folder into the text box provided. I will name my folder accounting records. 
it is very important that you click on the create button to create the folder otherwise the folder will not be created to store the files and what I mentioned previously about the files all ending up mixed in with your documents folder will be a reality now if done correctly you should see the name of your newly created file folder appear here on the right hand side alongside the documents folder tab and next to it you should see the name of the new folder you just created now you want to scroll down and click on the save as tab the file and folder is saved and the business account screen opens before you proceed any further it's a good idea to check that everything up to this point has been done correctly this is what I like to do to just double check go to your doc documents folder the folder and the file you created to hold your GNU cache records should be there if everything has been done correctly you are ready to begin working with the GNU cache business accounts